So as operations manager, I'm always really interested in ways that systems and technology and um, anything that we can use uh, will help JKSL to improve our service, improve our understanding of uh, the work that we do uh, and to, to make us more efficient. Um, in that same spirit, I have outsourced a lot of the question and answer um, for my social media takeover to ChatGPT. Uh, which is a, a, a large language model, uh, AI, uh, which sort of produces content. A lot of the content that came out of uh, a long exchange that I had with ChatGPT um, was really quite good. You know, the, the information was for the most part reliable, but it's interesting to look at some of the ways that um, the information is not actually what you would want um, and, and the fact that relying on something like this uh, for information, um, whether it's sort of actually going to chat GPT di directly or whether you'd be looking at search engines that are enabled with this in the future, which is, is very likely. Um, I think it's much more um, responsible at the moment to speak to a professional, to speak to somebody at uh, a, you know, a professional company or one of the trade associations um, in the UK, we've got INSA, the PCA, the Immunity Forum also has members who um, deal with invasive species. So examples of how ChatGPT sort of f fell down in our conversation, um, you know, we've discussed uh, how can international cooperation and coordination be enhanced to address the global issue of invasive plant species. Um, and the response that uh, ChatGPT came up with included uh, efforts such as the Convention on Biological Diversity and the Global Invasive Species Information Network uh, were both mentioned. Now, I think the um, Convention on Biodiversity, it does exist. Um, it is a very high level international agreement um, that says, yeah, biodiversity is great. Let's keep that. Um, it's not something that necessarily results in action on the ground directly. It, it is a commitment and, you know, some would argue it's a bit of a wishy-washy commitment um, to yeah, preserving biodiversity generally. There's a lot more specific action within um, the European Union and, and particularly on, uh, you know, nation, national levels where you know, the UK government has DEFRA, CABI, um, as well as the members of the trade associations that I mentioned earlier, um, as, uh, companies such as ourselves and volunteer associations who are doing great work. Um, there is actually relatively little uh, coordination on an international level about um, invasive species and, and how they can be managed, prevention of their spread, prevention of new species becoming um, established. Uh, and the uh, Global Invasive Species Information Network, as mentioned, as far as I can tell, um, doesn't really exist anymore. It's uh, mentioned in a footnote on an EEA paper in, um, from 2013. So it's <clears throat> one example of how um, this information from Jack G chat GPT is not as accurate as you would like. Um, we also sort of spoke about how um, invasive species plant remediation efforts can be integrated with broader conservation goals and strategies. Um, chat GPT says invasive plant species remediation uh, can provide opportunities to promote ecosystem restoration and conservation goals. Uh, but they must be integrated with broader conservation strategies to be effective. This is not necessarily true. Um, you know, invasive species remediation has benefits in and of itself and it can be managed uh, as a standalone uh, improvement to a site or to a river catchment, for example, or a wider area. Um, it will result in improvements to biodiversity if it's done properly. You know, if the, the remediation is successful, if the aftercare, sort of replanting, repopulating with native species or, um, you know, other beneficial plant species is carried out properly, that will have um, positive results um, 
without needing to be integrated with um, broader conservation strategies. That's not to say that those broader conservation strategies are not important or that integrating that work together would have benefits because certainly it would, uh, particularly with river catchments. There's, there's a lot of work to be done uh, in a lot of rivers on sort of flood management uh, as, and um, you know that can tie in very closely with invasive species management. But again, it's just an example of how um, chat GPT and you know this sort of generative model of um, pr providing answers doesn't actually give you reliable information and the best thing to do is to come and speak to an expert such as ourselves uh, or if you've got higher level questions to speak to trade bodies to speak to um, you know the relevant uh, people in, in government as, as our trade associations regularly do um, to make sure that uh, invasive species remediation is, is given proper weight, treated uh, as, as a benefit in and of its own right and um, given yeah, the, the, the attention that it deserves.